Welcome to Pleasant Pop. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hello there, people of the internet. Cameron Pleasant here, back with another Pleasant Pop video. How are you all doing today? Good, I hope. <laughs> Uh, for those who are self-isolating, I hope you're going to be enjoying yourselves. Hopefully I can entertain you just a little bit. And um, for those who are still working, such as myself, you know, good work, bro. <laughs> uh, last video I mentioned about this gaming store in Melbourne. It was, uh, it's called Fortress, and it closed down due to the COVID-19 before it really got a chance to, you know, do anything. But... I just want to talk a little bit about this place because it's a, it's a pretty cool place. I think I'll find myself there one day once, you know, once all this COVID stuff's over and we can do that stuff again. So first of all, it's not just one type of gaming. It's, it's pretty much got everything you could ever want. So PC gaming, it's got really strong computers to play the, you know, the best PC games available. Tabletop gaming, it has, it has a nice area where you can go and play your tabletop games. Also, it has a bar, so you can go there with your friends, you can do whatever you want, have a drink, play some games, and I think that's just a really cool experience. Oh, and you can also get food. So if you're hungry after a hard day of gaming, you can go and eat something, you know, you don't have to leave the place. See, a lot of people, you know, my local gaming store, they go out, get their food, come back to the store, and... You know, you can waste half an hour to an hour doing something like that, which it's not a problem. But, you know, having the convenience of having like a an eatery inside your gaming store, I think is, I think it's cool. It might not be something you do every single day, but it's, you know, it's helpful. Um, another really good thing about this place is that it has these things called streaming pods. So... From the brief um, explanation I got from these, it's uh, basically like a studio where you have your computer and you basically stream the games that you want to play. I think if you are into streaming and you can't afford the high-end PCs that you think you might need to do the streaming, then this would be a good place for you to go. I don't know the prices that you'd have to pay to do such, um, such things. I'd imagine they'd be fairly reasonable. They also have a merchandise shop where if you're interested, they do have um, merch that you can buy if you if you choose to do so. It seems pretty cool. Uh, personally, nothing that I need at the moment, but if I ever end up going there and I really like it and I want a little bit of a souvenir, then I might buy some merchandise then. All right, so that's a brief explanation of Fortress. Um, I've got a, a little trailer that they have and I'll play that now. It'll have no sound because I can't play the music in my video, but here it is. So that's Fortress. It looks like a pretty damn cool place if you ask me. I think you'll definitely catch me there at some point. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a good place to just go down and hang out, play your games, um, have a drink? 
maybe even have dinner. Seems pretty cool to me. That's Fortress. Uh, let's move on to the next subject. I don't really watch WWE these days, but I do from time to time check it out. You know, I watch a little bit on YouTube and, you know, I feel a bit nostalgic about doing that. And I'm seeing all these cool things happening, but the problem is WWE doesn't have a crowd at the moment due to the COVID-19. And it really makes you realize how much, um, how integral the crowd is to the company. Because without the reactions of the crowd, without the cheers and the noise and the, you know, everything that the crowd brings to the, brings to the show, it's, it's very plain. Like these wrestlers are talented and they put on good matches, but I, it almost seems less real without the crowd there. WWE's entertainment and that's, you know, that's what it is. But the crowd, um, in my opinion, adds some sort of a realism to the show. I don't know why that is, but it's, that's just how I feel about it. The WWE, it's, it's very much lacking without its crowd. I was going to say that it's just lacking without its crowd. But some cool things have happened. We had um, Drew McIntyre. He's back. He's the champion now, which honestly, I didn't think it was ever going to happen. Like his last run back when I was still watching wrestling, he was uh, pretty much a jobber. Yeah, he was with 3MB and eventually they all left. But yeah, actually Jinder Mahal came back and actually became WWE champion. That's not too bad, but yeah, then McIntyre beat Brock Lesnar for the world championship. But there was no crowd like it. It's like he won it and he won it at WrestleMania, but it, it didn't feel like it. It felt like without the crowd, it's like less than NXT, you know, which is a shame because if you're going to beat the beast Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, you want it, you know, you're going to look back. They're going to show footage back then um, for future, for future references. And you're not going to have the cheering or the anything but you'll have him pinning Brock Lesnar, which just doesn't mean as much if there's uh, no crowd reaction in my personal opinion. So yeah, that's my thoughts on WWE. It has gone downhill since COVID. No fault of their own, but it's just the way that it is. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. Thank you for watching. And if you stuck around to the end, give me a like and subscribe if you want to. And have a great day, guys. Peace out.